What's going on everybody? Serial Entrepreneur Jordan Steen here and in this episode we're going to talk quickly about what a Bitcoin wallet is, uh, how to get Bitcoin wallets, and then what you need to really be aware of before you start transferring money to your Bitcoin wallet. So, here we go. Alright guys, so like I said in the intro, we're going to quickly show you how to get a wallet, the different types of wallets that you can look at. Um, and then how to quickly use the wallet, really what the purpose of a wallet is. So very quickly, what you need to know is there's really two main types of wallets that people use. There's a third type, but a lot of people don't use that. The two main types are software wallets and a hardware wallet. Uh, basically, a software wallet is a wallet that you download to your computer. It lives on your computer, and it's just an application that you open up, kind of like Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel, that hosts a wallet, again, on your computer. All right, A hardware wallet looks like a flash drive that is actually outside of your computer. They're more safe because of the fact that it's not stored directly on your computer, which, you know, your your computer is susceptible to attacks, whereas if you have a flash drive, they can't get into that flash drive because if it's not plugged into your computer. So there's two approaches. Really, both are good versions of a wallet. Uh, there's just, you know, you just want to be careful, you know, in which one you pick. Don't let it be some random wallet that no one uses. Make sure it's a popular wallet or the wallet is hosted by that platform. So there's a couple different types of wallets for software wallets. Now with a software wallet, I recommend Exodus if you're just going to get a generic type of wallet. Uh, and the reason why it's just, it's got most of the major currencies, like the major ones in here, you can see that they deal with. Um, you've definitely got Bitcoin, you've got your Litecoin, your Ethereum, uh, Omize goes in here, uh, ETH Classics in here, Bitcoin Cash now they added. So you can see it's got a bunch of the big names, right? Uh, and that's what I recommend. And all you have to do, you pick your platform, you can type in Exodus Wallet and on Google, go to your platform, download it, and it's just like any other type of application download. Okay, um, and then you'll see it show up on your desktop right here, and then you just double click that, open it up, and then boom, you have a wallet. Uh, you can do things like you can back up your wallet once you get Bitcoin in here. You can actually exchange with Exodus, which is something that's pretty neat. Um, so you can pick a coin and actually it'll do the exchange for you. Um, again, here's your wallet with all of your different types of coins if you want. You have your send, your receive address, boom, send, and then you just enter in the address, boom. So simple to use, very easy. Um, you can actually pick which assets you want. There's localization, which type of dollar, some cool customizations for like skin, so I can do Dust Sky, Matrix. I like the one that I had though, so I'm going to leave it with that. I believe it was Dark Mosaic. No, Burlap, that's what I like. All right, cool. So we're going to leave it at that. Go back to portfolio. Um, as you can see, I actually don't keep it on this computer anyways because this is my work computer, but I just wanted to download this for, uh, you know, the sake of this video. But that's basically it for this software wallet. The other way you can do it, because obviously this wallet doesn't host all of the, all of the altcoins on here, if you're buying other altcoins, all you'll want to do is you go to the actual web page for that altcoin. So every altcoin usually has a web page. You just go there, scroll down until you find their download, and then boom, Ethereum wallet for Windows 32 bits. Boom. You just download that. See all versions if you don't have Windows, blah, blah, blah. Um, Never mind. Okay, so you just click that download. It'll do the same thing as Exodus did, and you can download it and send Bitcoin or Ethereum to that wallet. So that's what a software wallet is. Now, the next thing is going to be a hardware wallet. And again, I recommend you getting one of these at some point, especially if you're dealing with larger amounts of money. Uh, so basically what we'll do is we'll go to Ledger Nano, uh, and you can see here, right here, cryptocurrency hard wall, hardware wallet. All right, and you can see it actually will show your balance on there. It's got some buttons on it so you can do some really cool things. It's a really cool piece of technology. Uh, me and all of my buddies who are, you know, doing Bitcoin, this is the one we recommend. We've used it the most, haven't had any issues with it. So I believe it's around, let's see, 50, $58 for the Ledger Nano S. Uh, this, the Ledger Blue is a bigger one. It's got a really cool screen on it. It's $230. Those are for people who are live, who live Bitcoin. Uh, Ledger Nano though is perfect for people who, you know, were just getting into it and you need some sort of security. So I believe that's what, like $65, $70, something like that. 
Um, so yeah, it's not too expensive uh, and it's a really good wallet to use. I'll make sure to leave the link in the description below so that way you can get to the Ledger Nano. Okay, so once you get into your wallet, again, just some quick things. If you want to send or receive, if you didn't catch the last video, we did this in the last video, but again, all you need to do is if you're trying to send Bitcoin to your wallet, you go to where your Bitcoin exists. So on GDAX or on Coinbase or you know Bitrex, whatever platform it's on, you're going to click receive, copy your address, go to the other account and click deposit or withdraw, or sorry, withdraw, not deposit. You're depositing it here. Click withdraw, and then you just enter in that code. Boom, super easy to use, right? So that's that, that's Exodus Wallet, that's hardware and software wallets, and that's how to get them. So I hope this video was super useful for you guys, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, as always, people, leave them in the comments section below. Throw a like on there if this video was helpful for you, if it helped you figure out what the hell a wallet is. <laughs> and make sure you stay uh, pay attention and stay tuned for our other Bitcoin videos. We have a couple others on our channel that you can go and check uh, how to buy Bitcoin, what Bitcoin is, um, you know, just basic stuff for people who haven't been in it before we're going to be doing other videos on lending pools stuff like that really good ways to make some money with your bitcoin while it's just sitting there and you're not doing anything for it um, you're just making money off of it so i'm going to get out of here make sure you check the free facebook group for bitcoin for bitcoin that's called bitcoin value it's also down in the description below and i'll see you guys in the group but until next time guys serial entrepreneur out